girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosalyn. If you're new, and this is day four, I believe it's day four in Istanbul, Turkey. Today we are getting a Turkish bath. It's at 10.30 this morning. And right now we're about to go to breakfast and have another Turkish breakfast, which has been pretty good so far. So I'll see y'all down there. Okay, y'all, so I got the same breakfast as I got yesterday. Um, the omelet and the fries. I forgot what they call it, potatoes and sausage. I already got started on it, but y'all seen this the other day, so. It's fine. We brought us some more of that pepper cheese. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta hurry up because we're supposed to be downstairs in like 15 minutes so we can get our Turkish bath. I'll meet y'all down there. This is our new ride to our Turkish bath. This time we have some tan interior. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I do know what to expect. I'm kind of nervous. I'll tell you how it is afterwards. Pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Mm -hmm. I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens with that. We made it to our Haman, which is the Turkish bath. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'm sure y'all can come. <laughs> In some underwear. We got ropes. I know I look like Slot Show Bob right now, but we just got the best Turkish bath massage. They massaged my head, shampooed it. Oh my god. This is the best feeling I've ever had. <laughs> Do I deserve this? Wow. Yeah. 10 stars. <laughs> okay, y'all. I tamed my hair as best as I could. I forgot to bring my comb and my brush, so it doesn't even matter. The way that massage was, the way that bath was, I don't care. I don't care. It was the best feeling I ever had in my whole life. If you ever come to Turkey, get a Turkish bath. It's only like $100. It's worth $500. <laughs> I have no words. Now that we're back in the hotel, let me tell y'all how that Turkish bath went. Okay, so when we first went in there, they um, took us upstairs. We changed into those robes I showed y'all. And then we, um, the only thing you could have on y'all was the little paper underwear that they gave you. And it don't, it's not one size fits all, but you have to make it work. So when you put the little bitty underwear on, you have to take everything else off. You wrap yourself up in the robe and then they lead you to the bathroom where you're gonna get your Turkish bath at. So once we got in there to uh, the bathroom, not bathroom, but the bath room, <laughs> um, you have to take your robe off, take your shoes off. Um, you leave your little paper underwear on, but the top, all the top is out. So you expose, you're just like, okay, this is what we're doing now. This is what we're doing now. I guess this is what we're doing now. <laughs> So anyway, um, after you take everything off but your little paper underwear, you sit down on this little, um, you just sit down over here by the uh, water and pretty much they just start getting buckets. It ain't even a bucket, it's like, I'm gonna say like a pot, a pot of water and they're splashing it on you, splashing it on you, splashing it on you. They're just cleansing you with the water first. And then after that, um, they splash you or whatever. They ask you, do you want them to, uh, you know, get your hair wet? If you say, yeah, they'll put water all over your hair. I say, yeah, because I want the full experience. I'm here. I don't know if I'm going to ever be here again. Give me the full experience. I want how it's normally done. So after they, they get through throwing buckets and buckets of water on you, um, you lay on this table and the table is like heated, but it's not hot. It's just like heated though. So you can feel the warm at the bottom and you lay, uh, I think I laid on my back at first. So they have like this little towel for you to put your head on. It's like a little spa day almost, but you lay down and they um, had this, this little mitten and it just scrubs you. They scrub you down with that mitten. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm getting scrubbed in right now. I'm cool with it. I looked on TikTok, so I kind of know what's going on. 
after they scrub you, uh, they throw more water on you. Every time they do like anything, they throw more water on you. So they, they cleansing you with every step. Um, and it's warm water. So after that, we had, um, let me think. They put like some exfoliate, exfoliate? Anyway, yeah, I think it's exfoliate on you so they could like scrub all the dead skin off of you. And I was like, this is, <laughs> it felt so good, y'all. I was like, this is really nice. I've never been bad like this in my whole entire life. This is, this is a dream right now. So after, um, I got finished getting exfoliated. Um, they put like some, I feel like this is the part where they put the foam on you. So you lay flat, they, they number one, you're turning on both sides. Like first you lay flat, after they get finished doing one step with you, they do it on the other side also. Um, and then they pour the water on you and cleanse you on both sides or whatever. So after that is done, they like get this foamy stuff. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it stays on you so good. So they got this foamy stuff and they just poured it all over your body. Like it's just, it already feels good, it's slippery. I was like, this is, where am I? Like God, is this, is this my life right now? <laughs> so once you get the foam on you, that's when the massage starts and y'all, they was, oh. Y'all, I need the massage so bad. It was massaging every part of my body. Like it made you just like, just release. Like, okay, just whatever has to be done. You just get so loose with it. So I was like, okay, okay. They told me it was gonna be uncomfortable at first, but then it'll be all right. And it started being all right with that massage. Like she massaged every part of my body. It's, it's just oh, the tightness up here, like your back. Oh. Those little ladies are so strong. <laughs> they are so strong. But anyway, after the massage, they massage you on both sides. They pour that foam stuff on you on both sides. Um, and get you massage. They rinse you off. She, um, she asked me that I want my hair washed. I said yes. She like massaged in my head. Y'all, they are like scrubbing everywhere. They're scrubbing under your arms. They're scrubbing your whole entire body. Like there's no part of your body except for your underwear part that is not scrubbed, okay? Your butt is gonna be scrubbed. It is everything is scrubbed, everything is clean. They did such a good job. I was like, y'all not charging enough. It was like a hundred and I think $12. That, if we would have got that at home, it would have started at $500. Like it's no way that wouldn't have started at $500 and it would have been worth it. They are underselling themselves, but please don't change the prices because I want to do that a lot. That that felt so good. So after we got finished with our Turkish bath, we um, uh, uh, my glasses on y'all. I didn't see y'all. So after we got finished with the Turkish bath, we um, they took us into this room and they we we put our robes back on and we put um, our shoes back on. They told us to take our underwear off. That little paper underwear, after the bath, they throw the paper underwear away. You put your robe on and you go to the next room where you're gonna get like a foot massage, a leg massage. But before you get that, you sit there and they bring you like fruit and like little treats. And um, they bring you like some water. So they asked you what you wanted. We wanted Sprite. So they brought us Sprite, they brought us water. But you can get like tea, Turkish tea. You can get like, it's so many varieties that you can get. So they gave us so many options for that. And then let's see, after we sat there for probably like 15 minutes just relaxing and eating and they like rub some kind of oil on us that just, you know, it just makes you just relax or whatever. It was probably like, I don't know. I don't know y'all. I don't know what the oil was, but it just made you just feel so relaxed. So, okay, once we got done relaxing for like 15 minutes, the ladies came back and they just start massaging our feet and they start massaging our legs and my legs, my calves, all this walking up the hills and stuff we've been doing here, they are so sore with that lady. She was getting in there and I was like, it hurts so good, it hurts so good. <laughs> it felt so good, y'all. And I think that was the end of it. But like it was an hour for like $112. It came with the full body scrub, bath, massage, just beautifulness. It was so nice. I, I can't even explain. It's not compared to anything. It's not compared to a spa. It, they say it's spa-like, but it's nothing like a spa-like. It was the best. It was the best experience that I've ever had. I've never felt. I've never felt any cleaner than I feel right now. Like all parts of my body are super clean. But yeah, that was a Turkish bath, y'all. I was looking on TikTok and I was like, 
they say, did you really go to Turkey if you didn't get a Turkish bath? And I was like, I'll definitely be getting a Turkish bath then because I, we're here. We're here. We're going to do all the things that we can put into the eight days that we're here. So I'm so excited, y'all. I just want to tell y'all that that Turkish bath was, it was, I didn't even know what to expect. Like, it was better than expected. I seen the videos, but you can't video everything. You know, if you make it, you can't video everything. So on TikTok, it only shows you so much, but it was so good. If y'all ever come to Turkey, ever come to Istanbul, get a Turkish bath. They have some cheaper than $100. I just want to go with whatever the average price was. I think I seen something like $54, $48. I don't know what it come with, but the one that we went to, superior. It was superior, y'all. Okay, I just want to tell y'all that it was the best thing ever. Okay, so we're headed to the train. We're about to go back to the Grand Bazaar because yesterday when we went, we didn't have enough time. So I want to get a full experience. There was other places I wanted to go to, but today is the last day, so we're going to end it with a bang. We're going to go shopping. You can do better. I dare you to be wilder. I don't fit into your parts. Beauty. I made it over here to the Grand Bazaar by myself, y'all. At first, I was going the wrong way, but it was like right after you get off the train. That was crazy. I finally found it. I found the old bazaar again that we were here at yesterday. And now I get the look look. To your box, beauty queens with final flowers. You can do better. I tell you to be wilder. I think this is cute. I'm looking for a souvenir for my shelf. Also, a teapot. That would be cute. Look at this. This was a shoe. Look at that. This is a shoe. I didn't get one of those. Let me see how much they cost. He was busy, so I'm going to wait until I see, a, see something else at somebody else's store. They all have the same stuff. Let's go in this store. It has a lot of things. Look at this. Wow, it's so much. Look at this lamp. They might look good on my shelf. Y'all missed me searching for this stuff. I was, it was intense, so I couldn't show y'all, but this is what we have. I'll show y'all when we get back. I came to this store, which is in the um, Grand Bazaar. And they have like some really good prices. Look at this. It was hard not to stop. So I got a few things. And I only paid 190 lira. Yeah, y'all missed me searching for y'all. It was intense. I had to bend with my knees. It was hard. But I'm gonna show y'all what I got when I get back to the um, hotel. Okay, so now we're outside. Now we can relax. That store is intense. I think I went through every single aisle or whatever you call it, every hallway. <laughs> Yeah, it was doing a lot. So now I'm about to look outside. It would feel so much better out here too. They got a little wind blowing. I've been sweating inside the bazaar. You can get anything here. Louis Vuitton, but you don't have an end. The end missing. They have so many things. Look at that. How cute is that? How much is this? Lira, Euro, which one do you want? They both don't come with it? <laughs> lira. This one? Do you want lira? Euro? Lira. Lira. Yeah. Uh, this lira, 800 lira. 800 euro? Lira. Oh, let me see what that is. Okay, so I'm going to get this little um, Louis Vuitton dupe. <laughs> it is 650 lira, Turkish lira. Um, so that's like 20, $20. What do y'all think? Yeah, I just got me a Louis Vuitton dupe for $20. It was like 650 Turkish Lira, which is $20. Better than Walmart. I'm going to show it to y'all. Y'all see it? Better than Walmart. $20. Y'all, they have so many stores. This was just the, the bazaar over here. Over here across the street, they have even more stores. I don't think I'm going to shop at them. Though. I got me a little purse. <laughs> I'm about to go back through the bazaar and end up on the other side. The other side has the train where I can get back to my hotel. But if I see something else, I might get it. I already feel good about my purchase. <laughs> Look at this shoe. That's a cute Adidas. 
I like that. That looks like it's a men's shoe though. We probably ain't got any women's. I like this one. I like this shoe right here. I know it's Adidas like, but I still like it. How much is this shoe? How much is this? Y'all, I just got finished handling. <laughs> I got those Adidas that I showed y'all for like $15. Um, they wanted like $20 for them. I was like, I'm gonna go. And he was like, okay, okay, 500 lira. I was like, okay, 500 lira. Because I know the quality is of a Walmart, Kmart, even though it's supposedly supposed to be an Adidas. So I didn't mind $15. <laughs> okay, I think I spent enough money, but that's $35 for my little two items I got today. I feel good about it. Now I'm hungry. Let's see what they got. Y'all look at this. A meatball sandwich. $140. And then they have meat sandwiches for a hundred lira. Toasted cheese for 80 lira. And they also have a chicken nugget sandwich. Oh, you can get a burger for 60 lira. 100% meat beef. I'm gonna get one of these and I can get the prices right. I didn't see this stuff up here. That's 70 lira. What is that back in? What is that? Pepperoni and cheese? That sounds good. Y'all, I love it here. The bad part is I can't be putting all this stuff in my luggage, but I love it here. Everything is so cheap. This store is my favorite color. Why is it so pink and pretty? What is in here? Oh, it's a restaurant. Let's look and see what this store has in it. It's just so vibrant. Oh, wow. Look how cute this is. They got like a little pink throne. These chairs are so cute. They have all the spices. And then these are like the teas. I had the cranberry tea yesterday. It was good. They have the pomegranate tea. That's the one that I tried yesterday. So good. Oh my goodness. Oh, jasmine. Is that what jasmine looks like? This jasmine tea, once you put it in the hot water, it opens. That little the bud does. Okay, so that was a fun store. I keep on saying the same little sandwich and I want to get it so bad. Let's see. It says mixed toast. I think that's the pepperoni one. It says 60, 60 uh, lira. I gotta figure out what 60 lira is. Let me get my calculator out. So it's like a dollar and 87 cents. That's worth trying. <laughs> we have one for um 90. And it looks like it has more meat on it. They have a, a salad hot dog. I don't know if that's like a veggie dog. Or if it just has, if it's dressed. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try the mixed toast. Uh, All right, y'all. I got my toast. I got my mixed toast. I'm gonna try it out. See what it tastes like. I know one thing. It's real hot. I'm about to drop it. They calling for prayer right now, y'all. Y'all hear that? Anyway, we finna try this mixed toast out. It was only like a dollar and like a dollar seventy eight. <laughs> it got a little meat in it. It's like meat, cheese, and bread. You know what it tastes like? It's pepperoni, but it tastes like bologna, like a like a thin bologna sandwich. I like it. <laughs> I can use some mustard or something though. So we found our way back, y'all. <laughs> At first, I thought I was on the wrong train, but you know what? I actually missed my stop, so I had to get back on the train and and try it again. So now we in the right spot, <laughs> and I'm almost to my hotel. Y'all, I made it back to the room. Let me show you what I got. I know I showed y'all a few things of what I got, but let me show y'all what I got. And it was like, all of this stuff was probably like $40. So I got these Samba, um, these Samba Adidas. And they were $15, which was 500 lira. Um, yeah, we know that these are, you know, but they Sambas to me. And they look so good. So I got these for $15, y'all. And I got this Louis over here. For twenty dollars, which was six hundred and fifty lira, I think. Yeah, I also got this little spoon. I want to put this in my office as a little uh, souvenir. It was two dollars and fifty cents, I believe, something like that. 
And then I got everybody a magnet. I think I got everybody two magnets. So I wanted to find them all like this because it had the boat, it had the little tram, and it had like the city with the bridge on it. But they didn't have those, so I had to get two and two. And then I got the other one like this. It has the tram on it at least. Um, and I got two of those. And of course I had to get the one that says turkey. And now that I'm looking at it, I didn't realize that this was a little C and these are big C's. <laughs> But anyway, they're about the same. I think I got three that are like all the same size. And then I got this one turkey that's a little C, which is odd. Oh, you know what? They all kind of different sizes, huh? Look at that. Okay, that's not too bad. They saying the same thing. That's all that really matters. I feel real good about my purchase. And I really feel good about that purse because y'all, I had to rig my Shein purse. Tell me when my Shein purse broke. I know that this purse was only what, like $6.00. But I wanted it to at least last the trip, so I had to rig it. I had to tie it on this side because my my little uh, thing like this, it broke off in the streets, y'all. I was like, this man helped me pick my stuff up. I was like, dang. Dang, she in? Why you do me like that? But I know it's my fault because I have the camera. I have like all this heavy stuff in there and it just could not hold on. But we had such a good day. You know what, y'all? I still want to go... We go to Cappadocia tomorrow to see um, the balloons, the uh, hot air balloons and everything. But I still want to try the cheesecake. They have this cheesecake I seen on TikTok and it has like, like chocolate just going down. It's like they poured chocolate on it and it's just oozing down. And I need that. I wanted to go to the original place for it, but um, we ain't going there today. But it's one like right beside my hotel. And they have coffee and they have the cheesecake. So I think I'm going to go down there and have coffee and cheesecake. I think that would be a good end of the day. We have a really early morning tomorrow. So like really early. We have to, we have to be, our plane leaves like at 6.30 in the morning. So we have a really early morning. So I'm probably going to end my night going to get me like one of those little cheesecakes and coffee. That sounds like a good time, don't it? Okay, y'all. I'll meet y'all over there. Okay, y'all. So we're about to go get this cheesecake. Literally, it's right down the street. And I do mean like a couple of steps away from our hotel. We got to try it. Our last day, we have to try it. And it's at this place. It's called... Ilters coffee. They have cute little seating too. We're about to go in. said his is delicious and we about to try mine but look what it looks like it's like a, a mudslide but savory and delicious oh. okay let's try it oh y'all when i cut it look at this you see that drip making my cry It tastes like Easter. <laughs> this tastes like Easter, like an Easter egg, like an Easter bunny. The chocolate Easter bunny. That's what that chocolate tastes like. Look at this. So mm. happy, so happy. It makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I also got a chocolate mocha um, iced coffee with almond milk and I wanted it to be extra sweet. Now that I'm drinking, now that I'm eating this, yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I need some more sugar. But literally eating this together, you really don't need more sugar. This is a good way to end the night with dessert. I'm happy, I had such a good day today. Like, what else, what else could happen? I'll meet y'all upstairs. Okay, y'all, I made it back to the room. I'm comfortable. I got my little robe on. I'm feeling myself, y'all. 
We had such a good day today. We had the Turkish bath. We went shopping and we ended it with cheesecake. <laughs> Like, what else? What else do we need? Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, 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 comment, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you know every time I post, and I post Monday through Friday. Also, I love y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all come back tomorrow. I'm still in Istanbul. And tomorrow, we're going to Cappadocia. I'll see y'all then. Bye, y'all.